function in any programming language is the heart if you want to do anything in the programming language in the smart contract you have to create function to build the logic and that's what we're going to learn in this video function in salty smart contract there are several way to declare the output if you want to declare an output get an output that's you. for that you have to create a functions so let's follow the general convention we have to define the solidity version and now we have to create a contract we'll call it function in that we're going to create function can return multiple value okay so this function going to return the multiple value for us so we'll create a function it will say return many and in that we have to define so public pure and this will say return and in that we have to define all the value which we want to return so unt we want to define boolean we can take unt and we can come here we can simply call return and we will pass the value the only catch here is that you have to specifically tell that what data type you want to add, uh, have as an output so here you can see we have taken in a unt so we are returning one if we are returning boolean so we have defined boolean we are defining unt so we are defining unt as a two so that's the very important things which you have to keep in mind so this is the very first function now let's build another one we'll call it return values by name you have that option as well so earlier what we have done we have return the value without a name but you can do with the name as well so we're going to create a function we'll call it name and that we have to do the same thing public pure and it will become return and that we have to define the value type and the data type so unt is going to be x boolean is going to be b and unt is going to be y so this is the name type i have defined that x is a unt b is a boolean y is a unt so this is the data type of the value which we want to return from this function so we're going to simply call it return and we have to pass the data so this is the name type which you allow to return the data now let's create another function we'll call it return values can be assigned to their name okay let's in the case the return statement can be omitted so let's create a function for that we'll call it public pure return and we want to return this so we'll say unt x we'll call it boolean b and unt y and we want to simply return that so here we can come we'll call it x is equal to one because we haven't defined any variable to the x so you can also define the variables and then you can return and because we have already taken this name so we have this name so we don't need to define a data type here because here we have already declared that it's a unt type and we can simply update the data here before we return from this function so let's update that same thing we have to do for the b it's true and y is going to be two and this is the one way to update and simply destructuring assignment so hope that makes sense now let's destructure the data so this is how you can do it very easy so we can create a function that can return multiple values so we'll say function and we'll call it destruction assignment here we're going to call this public pure we'll have this return inside that we have to define the data type so unt boolean and this is going to be a unt because these are the data type we want to return and the last one is going to be let's take a unt we'll make it let's say unt and we'll make it this and here we want to deconstruct that so this is how you can do it and these all data we have into that so we'll have this unti boolean b unti j and we want to get it from here return many this is the function we have created on the top and that we are returning these data and that's what we are deconstructing here so deconstruction is also possible you can create a function you are getting an output from there you can deconstruct it into a different function and you can access that data as well so that's the exact thing we are doing here because this is a very simple logic which you will find in most of the javascript programs so it's just a simple javascript let's go ahead and we have our deconstruction let's come down we're going to simply value can be left out so this is how you can do x y and that you can simply update four five six this looks fine to me now you can simply return a i b j x and y that's one way also so this these are the things we are returning in our in our, in the above so these are the return data type we have defined like we have taken i b and j 
the three data type and here we have defined the other two x and y and that's what we are returning so hope this makes sense now let's come here and here is one thing i want to highlight that sometimes what happened that you cannot use map as a function input so let me show you what i mean by that so let's come here let's create a function but you can take as an array so let's create a function and that we're going to say array input so we'll, it will be unt type array and memory array you cannot use mapping but you can use array here we have taken a unt type array and that's what we're going to simply call it here so this is the one way you can take data in the form of array to do and perform certain tasks so this is one way to take the input but you cannot use mapping that's the important things you have to keep in mind take it array and this is the one we want to have as an output so we can say and we can define the array we want to have as an output pretty simple you can take data output as an array or as an individual so you have both the option but you cannot use it as a mapping that looks fine to me and let's come here return the entire array because that's what we want to return we here we have taken a unt type array public array and this is what i want to intern and here we have mentioned that we want to have the complete array so that's the logic here so make sure to keep this thing in mind that it can only work with array not with mapping because mapping is also work like an array you can have multiple data into that mapping but you cannot put use that as a, as an input as an uh, or as an output so that looks fine to me let's come down we're going to and now let's create a contract and in this i want to teach you that how you can put data into a function with the value pair so you can assign a key and you can assign a value that is also possible so let's come here we're going to create a contract we'll call it x and y z and then we're going to create a function we'll call some function with many input and then we're going to define the input type so untx y we have the z and we're going to have this address a boolean b and we have this string memory c and we'll have this public pure return and we want to return this unt in that what i'm going to do is i'll create another function in this function we'll call call function and it will be external pure return and it will be going to return a unt and in that we have to define a couple of things so we're going to return this function the function we have created above so function with many and in that we're going to define all the inputs because this function need an input to execute so we're going to define without key value pair we're going to so in that we're going to assign the values not the key because you have both option you can assign the key value or you can assign the value as well but make sure to follow the exact order we have defined in the function here we're going to define the address zero and this that's the one way and now let's let's uh declare the function with the key value pair so we'll come here we'll create another function we'll call it function with key value and the same thing we have to do here we're going to return a unt and this time we're going to call the same function some input may input and we're going to assign this value because this is the one we want to return a a what is a so we have to define its address b what is b b is a boolean value true we can define the c and go and so on and so forth so that's pretty simple thing you can assign the inputs as a key value pair or without a key value pair and you can use a output of a one function into another function to perform certain tasks so that's the entire smart contract hope this makes sense if you still any confusion make sure to rewatch to understand what is happening so this is the entire function smart contract you can see all the functions we have declared we all have here now let's simply deploy the contract and let's try to have a look so deploy here we have the contract and here we have all the functions so first thing we have to do is here we have this array input so where we have declared that array input so the array input we have it is here uh, here this is the array we have and here we have this array input so you can declare that you can declare that you can call it to something like one and you can call this zero because we don't have anything into this that's why you can't find anything the same thing goes from here as well if you find something if you put that you will got nothing because we don't have into an array now if you call this array output you can see this is what you will get we don't have any data that's why you get the empty array if you call this assign you will get this data because this is the data we are so here we have this function called this assigned 
and in that we are returning this three data you can see this is the one we have updated and that's what we are returning from this functions so hope this makes sense now we have this deco structure so if i call this function you can see this is the data we are getting so this is the data we had type we have defined here we are calling this function return many this function and from there we are returning these three data and we are also updating x and y and that's all the data we are getting here one two three four and five six so hope this makes sense now we have this name if you call this name here we have this three data and that's what we are assigning here you can see this is the one we are returning from this function so one true and the two if you call it return many here you will get the same data return many and that's what you have here return many one two three so what we have learned in this video that you can create one function and you can use it this function output in different functions like the way we have used here in d custom assignment that's the one way we can assign and return you can simply take the data as a key value pair or without a key value pair so this is the without key value pair and this is the with key value pair so a b c that's all we have defined to have an output so that looks pretty fine to me hope this makes sense to all of you guys if you have still any confusion and doubt do leave in the comment section i'll try to help you in that that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope this makes sense to all of you guys but still if you have any confusion and doubt do leave in the comment section i'll try to help you in that and i try to explain one more time with that let's move to the next video